This is the Yes Butte wireless backlit gaming keyboard. Let's take it out of the box. In the box, you get the user manual, the charging cable for it, USB to USB-C, and here is the keyboard itself right over here. Let me tell you a bit about it first, and then of course uh, we'll test it out. This is an RGB backlit keyboard. It has different colors you can choose from and a couple of dynamic modes as well. It is 2.4 gigahertz wireless transmission for very low latency. There's a little USB dongle. You've seen them before for other wireless stuff. I'll show it to you in a bit. And um, this is also a rechargeable keyboard. Like I said, here is the charging cable for it. The battery on this recharges in five hours and has a 38-day standby time. There's also a sleep mode in here where it'll go to sleep after 10 minutes. So then you'll have to hit a key for it to wake up, and then you can continue typing there. Uh, the backlight goes out after 90 seconds to save battery power because that can use it as well. As you see, it has a built-in wrist rest for comfort, so that way you can type at an appropriate angle on there without wrist fatigue or perhaps flaring up your carpal tunnel syndrome if you have that. This keyboard has 19 key anti-ghosting. There also is a WASD swap, so if you're more inclined to use WASD for games instead of the nav cluster over here, you can swap that so WASD does up, down, left, and right like that. And there also is a Windows key disable, because if you're in the middle of the game and you accidentally tap that, on a Windows platform things are going to happen that could interrupt your gameplay. So that wouldn't be good, so you can disable that if you want. Um, very, very quiet typing. Okay, this is a rubber dome keyboard. It is not mechanical switches, it's just standard rubber dome. Let's take a look better at it over here. On the back, here is your USB dongle for it. One of these right there. We've seen them before, like I said. USB charge port right there, and an on-off switch over there, so you can't actually shut it off. And that there is right where I pulled the uh, USB dongle out. Of course, it has the flip-out feet on the bottom with rubber, so it'll stay in place, as you see right there. Let's go ahead and hook this up and take a look at the backlight. Okay, so for backlight, you have red, you do function home. There's yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta, white, and back to red. Then there's a breathing mode like that, which can be done in any of the colors as you see right there. So it'll kind of fade in and out like that. Not bad. And over here you can have it do that. Here's a dynamic mode. So it'll just kind of do that there. It doesn't do anything when you type in those modes. It just does various colors as you see right there. And there's also this mode where it will flash a different color each time you hit a key, just like that. Just kind of going out from where you typed, as you see, just like that. All right, so there's the backlight. Now let's go ahead and do a typing test. All right, we're all set for a typing test. Um, I'm gonna make mistakes because you do too. That's perfectly all right. Let's go ahead and start typing here. I think I'm actually just going to put the uh, backlight on like that, just so it's not... I think the flashy mode is a little distracting, but just the colors like that are just fine. And let's go ahead and type. You can hear what it sounds like.
Okay, so going back, this is a test of the Yes Butte wireless gaming keyboard. Backlight modes are nice, and it is a truly wireless keyboard, as it is also rechargeable. Key feel is about what is to be expected, as this is a standard issue rubber dome type membrane keyboard. Uh, in other words, this keyboard looks the part. It will perform quite well. The key feel is actually quite nice. It's uh, how do I explain? It it takes a bit of bit more force. It's not a total mush board, if you will. It takes a bit of force to go ahead and get the keys to be made. So you you, you definitely feel when it happens. Okay, so there definitely isn't any problem with the key feel of it but it's not a clicky keyboard but of course that all depends on what you're used to and what you like me i'm a diehard ibm model m guy but of course they don't light up like this so this is kind of nice i do like the fact that it is quite quiet so if you have other people in the room you won't be disturbing them with this and if you're gaming especially and you wear a headset and many gamers i know do you can keep everything nice and quiet, which is a nice touch. Looks the part, does the trick. Decent enough key feel for a plain old rubber dome keyboard, which is just fine because that's what it was designed for. And hey, for the price, you really can't beat it. Once again, this is the Yes Butte Wireless Gaming Keyboard. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.